Yeah. So one of the things that we've noticed with the MRI is that it is very, very good at detecting the dominant nodule or the dominant lesion. So the primary tumor in prostate cancer. But prostate cancer is a multifocal disease, meaning that there are multiple tumors within the prostate. And one thing, one limitation that MRI has is in terms of detecting the secondary cancer. So the cancer that could be on the other side of the prostate, which is an important thing to determine if you are going to be offering therapies that only treat part of the prostate, such as focal therapies. What we found the advantages of the 18F PSMA 1007 PET CT over MRI, we found it was better at detecting more dominant nodules. We found it was better at de detecting bilaterality, so when the disease is on both sides. We found it was better at detecting extracapsular extension, so when the prostate cancer is leaking outside of the prostate. And the primary outcome of the study was the staging of prostate cancer, the T staging or tumor staging. And so we found that it was better than MRI at determining exactly where the prostate cancer was in the prostate overall. Yeah, so uh, some of the limitations to MRI are that it is a resource intensive uh, technique, same with PSMA PET, they're both resource limiting, meaning that the number of men who could potentially need these scans, especially in a in a uh, uh, government funded healthcare system like in Canada would be limited. So not as many men as need it could potentially get it, meaning that there's a long wait time for this potentially. Uh, the other disadvantage to MRI is that you can only have it if uh, you uh, do not have something that is ferromagnetic in you. So if you have a hip replacement or if you have a pacemaker, then you're contraindicated to having a um, an MRI, and that's due to uh, the pacemaker not being compatible with the MRI, and for the hip, it being interference with the, because the prostate lives sort of close to where the hip replacement is. Limitations to the PSMA PET are uh, that it is a radial ligand that we are giving, and so there is radiation uh, exposure uh, that is given uh, during the PSMA PET scan. Yeah, this was an interesting finding to us and actually a surprising finding to us that MRI was right only about a quarter of the time and PSMA PET was right about half the time. And uh, we think that this is most likely due to the fact that radiologists and nuclear medicine physicians were blinded to other imaging tests, the results of the biopsies and the results of clinical information. And so truly they were only looking at the scan themselves, the scans themselves. And so when you look at just the scans themselves, you are limited to other information, like saying that there is actually a positive biopsy on the other side, where you would maybe look more closely, or you would call something positive on the other side that you are calling negative. So that is probably why the, um, the overall accuracy was fairly low in this study, but it does go to show that these scans probably shouldn't be used alone uh, in terms of coming up with diagnostic information for patients. So that's actually a planned secondary analysis of this trial is to uh, have the radiologists and the nuclear medicine physicians do a multidisciplinary conference where they are blinded to the results of biopsies and clinical information, but they can look at both the MRI and the PET CT and come to a conclusion as to where the cancer is and the stage of the cancer when looking at both. And there are now new machines available that are combined PET MRI scanners. So this is a new technology that could be studied uh, in terms of getting a PET and an MRI at the same time on a patient.
I think that in the staging setting, you get more bang for your buck with the PSMA PET. Because when you use an MRI, you still need to get staging for lymph nodes, um, bones, and visceral organs. And so you're getting a bone scan and a CT chest, abdomen, pelvis. Whereas with the PSMA PET scan, with one test, you are getting a better imaging test for the prostate staging, a better imaging test for the lymph node staging, and a better imaging test for the bone and visceral organ staging. So it's one test and it's actually better at all three than all three of those other tests. So I think that PSMA PET uh, is likely going to replace MRI as part of the staging in the diagnostic pathway. 